differences between maxillary central and lateral incisors. Welcome back to our ongoing dental anatomy series. In our previous videos, we have learned the anatomy of the maxillary central incisor and the equally important maxillary lateral incisor. Today, we are going to connect the dots and explore what truly sets these two teeth apart. So, if you're curious about the differences between these neighboring teeth, you're in the right place. These can be studied as comparative differences and absolute differences. Comparative differences can be noted when the two teeth of the same individual are viewed together. On the other hand, absolute differences are standalone identifiers that are more significant when we have a single tooth in hand. This is particularly important during the placement of a single crown in a teeth setting or when examining a single tooth in forensic evaluation. Let us first observe the dimensions. The comparative difference is the overall size. The crown of the maxillary central incisor is larger in all dimensions when compared to the lateral incisor. The absolute difference is that the crown to root ratio is less in the lateral incisor. Although both teeth share an average root length of 13 mm, due to the varying crown lengths, the crown to root ratio results in the appearance of a slightly longer root in the maxillary lateral incisor. The root of the single lateral incisor is one and a half times the crown. Let's now focus on the labial aspect of these teeth. Under the comparative differences, the labial surface of a maxillary central incisor appears smooth and relatively flat when compared to the lateral incisor, which exhibits a more pronounced convex or rounded surface. Let's now move on to the contact areas to observe the absolute differences. In the maxillary central incisor, the contact areas are positioned more toward the incisal portion, with the mesial contact area occurring at the incisal third and the distal contact area at the junction of the incisal and middle third. However, in the lateral incisor, the mesial contact area is located at the junction of the incisal and middle third. That is, more cervical than the contact area seen in the central incisor. And the distal contact area is positioned in the middle of the middle third. This is an absolute difference, as we can identify this feature even if you have one tooth in hand. Taking a closer look at the outlines, the teeth show a comparative difference. You'll notice that the mesial outline of the maxillary central incisor is nearly straight and runs parallel to the line drawn through the centre of the root. Meanwhile, the distal outline exhibits a slight curvature. In contrast, the lateral incisor presents both mesial and distal outlines with a convex shape with slightly more convexity on the distal side. In the case of the maxillary central incisor, the mesioincisal angle appears sharp, while the distoincisal angle takes on a rounded form. In contrast, when we examine the lateral incisor, both the mesioincisal and distoincisal angles are rounded, with a slightly more pronounced rounding observed in the distoincisal angle. Turning our attention to the incisal edges, you'll notice that the maxillary central incisor features a straight and flat incisal edge, while the lateral incisor exhibits a gently rounded or curved incisal edge. This is quite a characteristic absolute difference. During teeth setting, we angulate the tooth so that the incisal edge is parallel to the occlusal plane and 0.5 to 1 mm away. Now let's rotate both teeth to view from the lingual aspect. 
where the lingual fossa shows an absolute difference. The fossa appears relatively shallow with an M-shaped configuration in the maxillary central. However, it is more pronounced in the lateral incisor, forming an inverted V-shape. To observe the comparative differences from the lingual aspect, direct your attention to the cingulum. In the maxillary central incisor, the cingulum is slightly offset towards the distal side, which results in a longer mesial marginal ridge. Conversely, in the lateral incisor, the cingulum is positioned almost at the centre, creating equal mesial and distal marginal ridges. In addition to this, the lateral incisor exhibits more pronounced marginal ridges, a more prominent cingulum, and a deeper lingual fossa. The maxillary centrals and laterals also have some similarities when viewed from the proximal aspect. It is interesting to note that in both the central and lateral incisors, a line drawn through the center of the root nearly bisects not only the apex of the root, but also the incisal ridge of the crown. Additionally, both these teeth exhibit a broader appearance on the distal side when compared to the mesial side. This particular feature is attributed to their alignment within the dental arch, which influences their overall shape. Let us get back to the differences. When observing these teeth from the incisal aspects, we find a striking similarity in their overall appearance with a few comparative differences. A key distinguishing factor is the position of the cingulum which is placed more distally in the central incisor. Lastly, let's examine the roots. The root of the central incisor is notably broader when compared to that of the lateral incisor. Perhaps the most remarkable distinction lies in the root structure, particularly the presence of a distal tilt in the apical third of the root in the maxillary lateral incisor. Pop quiz. brings us to the end of our video. In our next video, we learn the anatomy of the mandibular central incisor. We hope you had fun learning with us. Mm -hmm.